Astros hosting the Rangers, ALCS, game number two. And the Rangers are plus 106 on the money line. The Astros are minus 124. The over-under is at eight and a half runs. The Rangers getting a run and a half on the run line are minus 210, meaning if you bet them that way and they win this game outright, you'd win. They lose by one run, you'd win. And the Astros laying a run and a half on the run line are plus 172, meaning if you bet them that way, they have to win this game by a minimum of two runs. Now, thank you for everyone who has joined the Discord and who continues to join the Discord. I really do appreciate you guys. If you've not done so yet, go to my website, rawsportstalk.com. Click on the membership tab. It is a paid membership, but you will get access to my best bets. Yesterday was kind of mediocre for baseball. I was not happy with myself, but hockey, I did excellent. So you've got to take the good with the bad. I just kind of ride the hot streaks. Now, head to head, the road team is on a four-game winning streak. The road team is 7-3 and three in their last 10 meetings. The Astros are 7-3 and three against the Rangers in their last 10 meetings. The underdog has won the last two games they played against each other. The underdog is 7-3 and three on the money line. The underdog getting a run and a half on the run line is 8-2 and two in their last 10 meetings. There have only been two one-run games in their last 10 meetings. That happened on July 25th and on July 24th on back-to-back -back days in Houston. The over is six and four in their last 10, and the over eight and a half runs is six and four in their last 10. Now, when we go into pitcher specifics, the Rangers are four and one in Ivaldi's last five starts. He's got an ERA of 3.4, averaging five and a third innings pitched and 5.8 strikeouts per game in those games. And the over is three, one, and one in his last five starts. In his last three starts against the Astros, he averages four and two thirds innings pitched, four hits, two runs, 1.3 of which were earned, four strikeouts, 2.3 walks, 0.7 home runs, 76.3 pitches. Now, in his two starts against the Astros this year, to be more specific, he went seven shutout innings. They won that game five to two and he struck out five. And then one and a third, four in, uh, four runs, four earned. They lost that game 14 to one, and he struck out one. But they are two and one in his three starts against the Astros. One game was with the Red Sox last year. And the under is two and one in his last three starts against the Astros. For the Astros, they are two and three in Valdez's last five starts. He's got an ERA of 3.4. Averaging five and a third innings pitched and 7.4 strikeouts per game in those games. The over has hit in his last three starts and the over is three and two in his last five starts. In his last three starts against the Rangers, every one of those games went over. The Astros are one and two in those games. He's averaging five and a third innings pitched, six hits, four runs, 2.7 of which were earned, four strikeouts per game, 2.7 walks per game. 0.7 home runs per game and 91 pitches per game. He gave up two home runs in one game, so that's the 0.7. In his three starts against the uh, the Rangers this year, six innings, five runs, one were earned. They lost that game nine to one. He struck out seven. Three and two thirds, six runs, six earned. They lost 13 to five. He struck out one. Seven innings, one run, one earned. They won 14 to one in Texas, and he struck out four. Now in the postseason, the Rangers are two and zero in Ovalde's two starts. Six and two thirds, one run, one earn. They won seven to one against Tampa. In Tampa, he struck out eight. Seven innings, one run, one earn. They won seven one. He struck out seven. That was versus Baltimore. The Astros are 0 and one in Valdez's one postseason start this year. Four and a third, five runs, five earn. They lost six to two versus Minnesota. He struck out five in that game. The Rangers averaged 5.7 runs per game with a 263 average and a 344 on base percentage against left handed. Uh, pitchers and the Astros average five runs per game a 251 average a 325 on base percentage versus righties so if the math is mathing the Rangers with the money line the Rangers getting the runs and the over these are just my picks if you disagree please go with your gut and please bet responsibly